Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Let's do some stoichiometry problems. So, for the combustion of sucrose, I get a reaction there. There are 10 grams of sucrose and 10 grams of oxygen reacting, which is the limiting reagent. So, I'm going to label each one of these. Okay. And to find the limiting reagent, remember a great trick is we're going to convert them both into the same thing. And very frequently, I just convert them into the closest thing. But if you look in question B, it says how many liters of water form. So instead of converting it to carbon dioxide, I'm going to convert it to water. Whoops, I threw the line at the wrong spot. So both of them are going to be converted to water. So I'm going to start with my 10 grams of sucrose. Notice how I start all the way up on the left hand side. So you've got my C12H22O11 times. So I'm going to do this. Notice in here, I want to do liters. So I'm just going to end in moles because the way I get liters, PV equals MRT. So I'm going to stop at moles. A lot of times we go all the way to grams, but not this time. So I'm going to go through moles. I always go through moles. Um, so I want to go into moles. So I'm going to cancel this out. Remember, I want to cancel things out by putting them diagonally. And my math class taught me that that will cancel them out. I have to go to the periodic table and add up 12 times 12.01. So I have 144.12. And then I have 22 times 1.01. .01. That's the mass of um, hydrogen. And then I have 11 times 16. 176. So 176 plus 22.22 .22 plus 144.12. And I should get something in the 200 range. Ooh. That doesn't look. Oh, yeah, that's right. 37. I missed my one there. So that's going to be 342.34. So now I'm in moles of C12H22O11. And I want to convert it into water. I need a relationship between C12H22O11 and moles of H2O. That relationship comes from the balance equation. One of these will give me 11 waters. So one of these will give me 11 waters. And when you kind of look at it as far as the oxygens or something like that goes, you can see how you've got 11 waters or 11 times H gives you 22 and it kind of balances out a little bit. Okay, throw that into my calculator, and I get 10 divided by 342.34 times 11. I get 0.321 moles of H2O. All right, so then down here, remember limiting reaction, I'm going to do both of them. So I've got 10 grams of oxygen, an easier molar mass to deal with. I hate you grams of oxygen to cancel that out. Go into moles of oxygen. One mole is little g stands for grams, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. So now I'm in moles of oxygen, and I want to go into moles of H2O. Again, most of the time on oops, most of the time on these, I go all the way through to grams because that's what it asks for, and that's kind of a nice little routine. But for this, because I know I'm going to do liters, I'm going to have to use PV equals NRT. I'm going to stop at moles. Um, so I need a relationship again between water, 11, and oxygen, 12. So now I go to my calculator. 10 divided by 32 times 11 divided by 12 is 0 0.286. 286 moles of H2O. Okay. So which one's smaller? Smaller amount forms. So that means 0.286 moles of H2O. That doesn't answer the question. The limiting reactant is the reactant that makes the least. So my limiting reactant is O2, okay? So again, this is what you need to know. The smaller amount is what actually forms. I can't make 0.321 moles of water because I don't have enough oxygen. So oxygen is the reactant that limits the amount of product. So that's it. 
How many liters of water form if the water vapor is collected 25 degrees Celsius in one atmosphere? So you see, I'm starving to use PV because I need to. And I guess I'm just going to use the um, So my pressure is one atmosphere. I'm using this equation right here. My volume is what I'm solving for. My moles are my limiting reactant moles. R is 0 0.0821 and T, 25. <laughs> It's a dirty word. Celsius is a dirty word. Remember, you have to convert it to Kelvin right away um, by adding 273. So 273 plus 25 is 298. Math. 0.286 times 0 0.0821 times 298 is 7.00 liters. Good. Of O2. I'm going to throw that O2 on there. Oh, I'm out of O2. Of H2O. Okay. If the actual yield was 85% of the water vapor above. Okay. Sad time. We never get 100% yield. Oh, It's like getting 100% on the test. You hope it happens once in a while. But really, you guys are rocking your 97s, 98s, 99s, 92s, 38. Oop, but at LT, that's a 50. So, let's see here. We've got 85%. Of that, so if I were to write this, I would say 85% of seven liters is made. Okay, so I learned in my little hillbilly middle school, I always have to use the decimal form, and of means times, is means equals, and that's my answer. So seven times 0 0.85 is 5.95 liters. How many grams of excess reactant remain? Ooh, oh, it's grams. How terrible is that? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my limiting reactant and I'm going to convert it into my excess reactant. So my limiting reactant was oxygen again. So 10 grams of oxygen, and I'm going to do 10 grams of O2 and convert it into sugar. And then it was C12H22O11. And I better get less than 10. So, times dividing bar, grams of O2, one mole of O2, 32 grams of O2, moles of O2, moles of sugar. Moles over moles. <sighs> yep, so 12 oxygen, one sugar. One mole C12H22O11, and then grams of C12H22O11. My gram, my molar mass was 342.34. I'm looking to shortcut it. 342.34. So hopefully it's less than 10. 10 divided by 32, divided by 12, times 342. Oops. Point thirty four. Enter. Whoa. That equals point five three zero grams, which seems too small. So I'm going to calculate that again. Ten divided by thirty two divided by twelve times three forty two point thirty four. I got a much better answer this time of eight point nine two grams. C12H22O11. That's how much I need. Whoa, check out how much that's lived. That's how much I need. Okay. So from the problem, I have 10 grams. I need 8.92. So excess would be just subtract that. When I do that, I get 1.08 grams of excess sugar. And that's a decent rundown. Talk soon. Toodles.